everybody. It's um, September 10th, 2009. Um, nothing really interesting going on today. I mean, I'm going to be watching football around 8 o'clock. It's um, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Tennessee Titans. And I'm rooting for the Steelers because they're like my second favorite team. First favorite team is the Green Bay Packers. And I guess third is the Eagles since... I don't know, my family loves them. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd um, mention the game Darkest of Days. This game is probably, like, just one of my favorites of the year, definitely. It's really interesting, you know. You get to uh, use a machine gun, like a high-tech AR-55 machine gun in, like, the Battle of Antietam of the American Civil War, just mowing down people. It's just ridiculous. Like, whole firing line just taken out. Just And, then, like, you go through um, the Battle of the Little Bighorn in the beginning, Battle of Antietam, um, the battle, some battle in World War One, like, Lambo or something. I don't know. And then World War Two, And then, um, randomly, like, Pompeii, right? But, um, really cool, you know, you're, like, time traveling, you know, you go around, you got these future weapons, and these other future dickbags come back, they're like, oh no, like, our portals are blue, and theirs are light green, so, <laughs> we're like, they must be the enemy, so they start shooting at us, and they sh we shoot at them, but then, oh no, we can't kill them because they're shields, and then we capture one of them, and then we find out their shield resonance, and then we can shoot them better, and then they die, and then we have to fight them with a microwave gun at the end, and that, that was fun. But, um, definitely some of my favorite parts were, like, playing as the Russians on one side of the bridge, and then later playing as the Germans on the other side of the bridge. Just, that's fun. Uh, definitely, like, the World War I weapons the best, because they're accurate, except for the German Mauser, or the Gewehr, as they like to call it. It just was very inaccurate. But this game. This game, uh, you know, secret level stuff going on. Uh, pretty fast load times. Uh, graphics are good, as you're going to see that pretty soon. I'm just thinking of which one to load. Ah, the sniper mission. This one's pretty cool, you know. See the loading time here. I mean, results may vary. My computer's beefy as hell. Yeah, Alienware, what up? Oh, yeah. And that guy. Alright, this is a partner Dexter guy. He's awesome. Alright, here we go. The sniping's pretty sweet. Yep, blue eyes. Take him out. Target down. Is that thing a fucking cannon or what? One more. Get him before he's out of range. Hot damn. Another subject neutralized in ass kicking fashion. Again, pretty much does all the work for you. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I think I just hit, hit a prisoner. It's alright, though. He was meant to die in some way. But yeah, free range shooting. What? Yeah, definitely. Two confirmed just... kills. I can't make out the other targets from here. But yeah, this Let's is a future pistol, yeah. Automatic, pretty sweet. Yeah, that was a little bit of a, the World War II game. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. It came out a couple days ago. I mean, there's some other games I'm looking forward to, like uh, Halo ODST, as you know, coming out the um, 22nd. It's going to be a good game, hopefully. There's a few coming out. Um, StarCraft 2. I have no idea when that's coming out, but I want it really bad. Diablo 3. Going to be great. I saw some videos for it. I'm a real Diablo and StarCraft fan. I'm glad they're gonna be coming out soon, ish, soonish. Not really soon at all. <laughs> Cause I could show you some random picture I found on the internet. 
it's a Halo Wars box art, and they just <laughs> they just took the left side and uh, mirrored it onto the right, so it's just ha wa. <laughs> I love random stuff like that. Darkest of days. I definitely um definitely suggest it. Um, I got it last night, and I beat it like uh, three hours ago, I guess, and it's um 7:05, so I guess. I kind of got, like, five hours of gameplay out of it. I mean, this, like, I watched this one review of it online, and he said that you get, like, ten hours of gameplay, but I think that's just because he sucks, and, like, he probably died all the time. Me, not so much. I mean, I put it on hard. I died, like, a few times. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm experienced with first-person shooters on a desktop computer. That's what I believe that um, first-person shooters should just stick to computer games because because of this boy right here, the mouse. Like with a controller, it's just so much. It's the mouse is just more precise is what I'm trying to get to, and you can turn around a lot faster. Some people may say that's unrealistic. Well, whatever. It's awesome. All right, so just get over it. Like try playing Unreal Tournament without a mouse. It's not fun. Like, you'd have to put your uh, sensitivity up, like, all the way just to have any type of chance at being like the mouse. But even then, like, it would just be like, mm -hmm, like, not stopping when you want it to. Crazy stuff. All right, well, now that <laughs> I beat the brand new game that I just got, it has practically no replay value. I mean, I guess I could play it now on a harder difficulty. But I don't think there is a harder difficulty other than hard. We played on an easier difficulty. I was looking for cheats so I could use like the super advanced weapons in like each mission. I would play again if I could do that. That'd be pretty sick. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh play Fallout now, which I believe was like released in something crazy like 1998. Yeah, little loading screen. By gamers for gamers. By gamers for gamers. Interplay. But yeah, every time I see these little loading screens, I'm just rushed by nostalgia. I used to sit in my uh, my kitchen computer, because that's where the computer was. It was in the kitchen before, in this big chair. Used to get all comfortable, but now I got this Uber setup. Chair. You know, a little volume control daily. Used to be really cold in here, so I kind of got my blanket ready, you know, just go like, oh shit, it's cold. What? Um, I don't know, but I love Fallout. Our dedicated boys keep the peace in new newly annexed Canada. Oh yeah, go America. <laughs> I think we should annex Canada. Sorry, Canadians. I don't know. I think I should go to Canada first. Like, maybe Canada should annex America. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> Canada annexing America. <laughs> I couldn't even take over, like, Alaska by themselves. Like, if we suddenly said, Sorry, Alaska, you're on your own. Just the people in Alaska right now, Canada would not be able to take over. At all. Yeah, um, I'm probably just gonna upload this short video and then, um, play some Fallout. Which is delicious. Delicious Fallout. I don't know, I thought this game was going to look like worse on a bigger screen, but it just, I think it looks better. Way better. This is my background. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to get to editing and uploading. And I'll see you tomorrow.